There's lots of things in, there, in, in the press about property at the moment and we thought as well as getting you here to thank you it's an, an ideal opportunity uh, for us to, 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 to tell you a little bit about the, the, the property market but it's also an opportunity for us to launch a new service. We've called this Invest and Let. I'd just like to take a couple of moments to, to explain how this came about. At the start of this year Robert and I were having regular meetings uh, and we had a fundamental problem. We got more properties than we'd ever had under full management, thank you very much, um, but we were still finding that we got more tenants than ever before walking through the door saying, I want a property. And we just didn't, and we still don't, have enough properties to offer these guys. And it's, it's a specific type of property that the, these tenants are, are, are interested in, and we genuinely need to work out how we're going to solve this problem. Do you know when the term buy to let was first coined? 1996. And Arla was the, actually the founder of buy to let. What Arla does for its members is try to keep them on the straight and narrow. We try to give you, the consumer, the landlords, protection against a bad agent. They all have to belong to a redress scheme so that there is a route if something goes wrong. Most importantly, we also operate a client money protection scheme that means if the agent runs off with your money, we pay out. There's all sorts of national trends that we read. People produce them all the time. But you can't make a local investment on a national trend basis. You've got to know your local market. It's local knowledge. Who has local knowledge? It's your local expert agent. They know more about the market in your area than you will ever realise until you try to tap into that. The average age of the first time buyer last month, uh, the national statistics said that it's now 39. And it's not because they don't want to buy, it's because they can't get the deposit. It's also because lifestyles have changed to what a lot of you in this room will ex have had the same as I did. That we settled down young, we got married young, we bought our first house young. Is that what your children want to do today? Is that what your grandchildren, in my case, want to do today? No, it's not. So the whole market has changed, so there is a real demand. Now, Homelet is one of the biggest tenant referencing companies, and they base their statistics on actual rents achieved. Not what you see advertised on Zoopla and Rightmove and everything else. It's what has actually been achieved. And it's six consecutive monthly rise in East Anglia in rents. And it's the only region in the UK that's achieved that. And that includes prime central London. So you're actually sitting in an area where the demand is going up, where the strength of the market is going up suggests that there are perhaps opportunities. What is right for buy to let is not always what's right for owner occupation. The people who live in the private rented sector have a different type of demand. They are looking for different things. So do bear that in mind and take the advice that you're given on it. Take professional advice as to how you buy the property. If you speak to Council of Mortgage Lenders and the Building Societies Association and ask them how buy-to-let properties have been financed uh, and who the borrower is, they tell you that it's about 80% of the properties have been purchased in one name. That's not terribly tax efficient for most people. And what you do need if you're looking to expand your portfolio or start your portfolio is a good accountant that can give you the tax advice as to how to do it. If I'm buying a property today, I want my grandchildren on the title deeds. It's the fastest growing bit of the marketplace uh, in the private rented sector is actually the retirement market. People of my age now, retiral age, that are actually selling the family home and moving into rented accommodation um, in a, an environment that they feel that they're uh, comfortable in. 
So it is a big expanding market. I know one of the specialist uh, agencies that work in that market last year secured £500 million worth of funding to build. And they haven't started to build yet because they're still trying to identify the right markets and the right opportunities for it. We're building at the moment about 120,000 too few houses a year in England alone. At the beginning of the financial crash, we were 1.4 million houses short in England. By the time of the next election, it is expected that we could be 2 million homes short. Well, I decided to invest in property in, I think it was around 2002, um, when I resigned from teaching. Um, and the main reason was my children, my daughters, were leaving home and wanting to rent properties. Uh, we probably first started about 10 years ago. Um, all of the properties we own are in the sort of surrounds of our shop in Ipswich. Uh, we basically bought them as an investment and also um, to help lift the area. We really started investing in property as our practice has grown. We've taken on more staff uh, and for some of those staff we've had to find properties for them to live in. Uh, when they've moved on or bought their own properties, uh, we've then retained those houses and, and taken, you know, used them as a long-term investment letting opportunity. I was fed up with shares because they kept going up and down and I thought, but I've always loved houses um, and I thought it would be a very good idea of <coughs> earning rent to appeal to me no end because I could see what I was getting each month. Absolutely has been a worthwhile investment to be in the buy to let market. Um, not only have we got great uplift in the values of the property but we also earn money on a monthly basis after we've paid all our expenses and of course because we've been in it for quite a few years the rates that we get are quite advantageous because of the low interest rates we have at the moment. It's been very easy and straightforward. I think there's always the concern when you have a, 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 a property with tenants that there's going to be issues with tenants, um, maintenance problems, problems finding new tenants. Uh, but with Pennington's running the show for us, it's been very straightforward and we haven't had any headaches at all. For the last sort of six or seven years, I have to say, we've, it's been very, very good. Um, especially since interest rates have dropped and we've, we're on very good mortgage rates from having done it a few years ago. Um, the thing that's possibly hit us is in the last year is some of the problems that we've experienced but we've been lucky that we've had six good years so it's only this last year that has been a bit of a challenge but it's definitely been worth it. Well I do intend to keep them for quite a long time hoping that they will provide maybe a pension or an investment in the future at the moment that isn't happening but I do, it's a bit like shares you know I intend to hold on to them. For us really it's more about regular income from uh, the, the rental and capital growth, those would be the main two. I, I just think it's it, it's the best thing to have as a house because property goes up, I mean I've never known it really go, and go down, it might, it might level off but I've never known it drop too much and I think if you maintain the property not only have you got a good house to sell or to leave to your children um, but you get the rent off it. We originally did the, the buy-to-lets for, for a pension, so hence the reason for doing it for the long term. But it's very nice that actually it does give us a secondary income at the moment as well. I think we regard the properties very much as a long-term pension type investment. Uh, we're not looking to make a, a fast return uh, or a quick buck. Uh, you know, we see these as a long-term investment. You have buy-to-lets, uh, I think, as a long-term investment. You wouldn't have them for a short-term investment. But sure, one is always thinking as one gets older, this could make a nice little pension pot. And really, it's a relatively stress-free and easy investment to have, particularly if you have such a good agent as Pennington's. We need quality landlords who have got quality properties that are treating tenants fairly. And if we do that, the tenants will generally come back to us time and time again, which means that we've got a great book of tenants with a great track record coming back to us time and again, uh, renting properties as and when they move on. So again, it's down to having you guys on board as quality landlords. 60% of the people that walk through the door, they've got somewhere between 550 and £650 pounds a month and they want something that's got two or three bedrooms. 
It's as simple as that. I mean, that's what is being demanded. And that's what we've got to go out into the marketplace and find. And we think that we're positioned very nicely to, to try and facilitate that. Um, we have been in the market for a long time. Uh, Geraldine, my mother and father, set the business up some 24 years ago now. Uh, it's in my blood. We know property. We really understand it. Um, we've got the experience. Many of us working on the team have already got, we are landlords ourselves and we own properties. We understand it. And we know what is going to let. We genuinely know what's going to let. Somebody comes to us, shows us something and we will know whether it's going to do well or not. Um, and we also fully understand the business processes and the regulation that's now coming in and being able to deal with that. And we've also got the relationships uh, that are needed across the town. We've been here for a long time now, so it's not just us and you. We've got surveyors, other agents, solicitors, accountants, and we're working with all those guys in, the, in Ipswich and the surrounding areas, they all know us, we know them, and inevitably opportunities arise and we need to be able to grab hold of those and pass those on to you. And so I think that we're able to, to, to sit quite nicely there and facilitate that for you. The way that we decided to, to, to set up Invest and Let, uh, we've devised seven steps that we think that would take you through uh, from start to finish. Uh, and initially that's going to be having a, a, a sit-down meeting and it's all about you guys um, and we'd like to understand what your long-term goals are um, how much you would like to invest and if you then decide that you want to go ahead and, and, and take us up on the service that, that we're offering um, we need to, to have some commitment from you by way of an application form and a small fee up front once we've gone to that once we, 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 we've got that agreement from you uh, the next thing we need to do is to engage with the other partners that we've got uh, uh, as part of the service and, and this is absolutely fundamental and core to the uh, invest and let proposition. Um, we have to have absolute confidence by all of those other stakeholders that the people that we represent have got the wherewithal to go ahead and complete and do a deal if we go and make a final offer. Clearly, if there are problems with the conveyance or the survey or whatever, that's a different matter. But if we genuinely go into the marketplace and we want to make an offer for our clients, we know that we have to have that credibility. But that credibility will develop opportunities for all of us, real proper opportunities. But we get issues where we've got big chains that are built up as people buy. Now, invariably, some of those chains break down. The first time buyer or the investor can't raise the finance, whatever, chain's dead. We want to be the first people on that list that those agents phone up and say, we've got a chain that's fallen apart, it's a big chain, it's all going horribly wrong, we need one of your cast iron buyers to come in and prop it up and there's a deal to be done. We've all of a sudden got a motivated buyer. We're putting you in a great position to be able to go in there and hopefully buy something at the right price that's going to give you the, 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 the return that you need. So really the, the whole essence of the finance and making sure that we've got all the I's dotted and the T's crossed and getting that credibility in the invest and let brand is absolutely key to making this work for you guys in Ipswich. So a part of the process is going to be uh, pointing in the direction of, uh, of some of our uh, financial experts um, who will then be able to, to advise and top and tail and I will genuinely need for them to sign you off and say yes you're in a position to proceed and at that point then we'll move forward. I think Invest and Let could be a very very good idea for people who have busy working lives and haven't got the time to do it themselves. I think it's a good idea. I, I, you know, I think um, you know, for some, uh, it, you know, it makes life so much easier. Uh, you know, they can identify properties, suitable properties, properties for which they know they already have tenants. Um, uh, they, they know the rental market inside out, so they know what sort of properties are going to rent well, those which aren't, uh, and can make those crucial decisions for you, uh, rather than you perhaps uh, purchasing a property, trying to rent it out, and finding that uh, you know, you've perhaps misjudged the market a little bit. 
uh, you know, get the professionals to do the job for you. To have that experience of a good team behind you to help you make the right decision first time, it's important because let's face it, it's a huge capital commitment and you want to make sure you get it right. I think what makes a service like Invest and Let so appealing is that uh, they take all the hard work out of uh, you know, identifying and purchasing a, a property suitable for renting out. I definitely think it's a good idea. It does take a bit of work and it's good to have a strategy behind what you choose to do um, as, a, as a landlord or when you're investing in properties. For Invest and Let, for new investors, I think it's a cracking idea. David and I spent hours and hours driving around Ipswich, looking at the schools, looking at the areas, trying to decide where we should hold the majority of our property portfolio. To shortcut that time and to have somebody to arrange the mortgage and package it seems an excellent idea to me. Getting Penningtons to identify properties for us or for me as an investor, um, yes, I do think it would be a, a something I, I would uh, consider doing. You have the experts on the job and uh, people that have been in the business for many years and people, especially people who know the locality well. And I know Robert and Paul and, and um, know the locality very, very well. They know where the best places are, where the best properties are. And I think probably that expertise is very important, especially if someone's going into it for the first time. I made a few mistakes at first, which obviously if I relied on some expertise I wouldn't have made. The local knowledge of a firm like Pennington's is vital in that process in terms of making sure you get the right property at the right price in the right location to make sure therefore that you get the maximum yield not just only in rental income but also over capital growth over a period of time. Many people think they might know that locally but chatting to an expert must help in that decision making. I think to have the security that somebody who knows more about in this case the Ipswich market than you, therefore they could steer the potential investor to the right areas which are going to let quickly to the right kind of client is information that would take a very long time for the layperson to gather. The hard work of actually looking at hundreds of properties to find the right one for us to invest in, I have to say it would make life so much easier to be able to hand it over to Pennington's and say, right, this is my criteria, this is what I look for, this is specifically what I would be looking to accept, and just leave it to them. How beautiful would it be to just turn up, walk into a property and say, yep, that's the one, and then I can get on with my day job. But basically it would save time because you know if you've got to go and see the solicitors and you've got to go and see a financial advisor you've got to go and see all these separate people if it's all under one umbrella and you're a busy working person that's going to save a lot of time isn't it and it's all be again if it's all dealt with by someone you know and you trust again that's a very good thing i think having the total service and having it all wrapped up and understanding what it's going to cost at the beginning and they're being but I know from my, from my current experience that that is how Penningtons tend to operate and I suppose that's what I like and that's why I trust them with the new service because I like the transparency side of things I like to know what I'm getting and how it's going to to pan out and I believe that's what they will deliver. I think the invest and let uh, package is, as it says on the tin, a complete package from start to finish. Uh, identifying a property, uh, arranging the purchase, uh, identifying tenants, placing tenants uh, and then managing the property thereafter. A complete turnkey solution. It's a no-brainer. The next key, we've got you set up. You've, we, we, we've made certain that you're in a great position to make an offer uh, on, on, on a property. The next thing we need to do is to, uh, to find the properties. Now there's the obvious route uh, via the website, newspaper agents, they're absolutely uh, straightforward. Um, there are other options um, that we also need to tap into, uh, as I alluded to earlier on, uh, working closely with agents, forming those relationships to make certain that we're the first on the list as new properties are coming to the market to get tipped off for those. Also working with developers. Um, if we can build a number of you together. Uh, I've already uh, started talking to developers uh, about the potential for uh, developing specifically for us. 
the beauty of that is by taking the risk out from a developer, we're able to buy at a lower cost. As, as we build the Invest and Let, we'll also be looking to, to market directly to the, um, to the public. So we'll be advertising for people to come directly to us uh, with properties that maybe they don't want them to go onto the market. We'll be doing leaflet drops and uh, to, to suitable properties, seeking people that may or may not, or may be wanting to sell but may not want to make it public, and they can come to us and we can talk to them privately and do deals with those guys in a certain knowledge that we're going to do the deal quickly and without any fuss. Once we've opened the negotiations and we've found properties and we've started talking to agents and to sellers and so forth uh, and we've identified real opportunities that you're particularly interested in that suit your investment criteria, um, we will at the outset start talking about how much people are willing to sell for and once we've got that to a point where we know that we're likely to be able to do a deal um, that's the point at which we'll start looking at the property a little bit more seriously uh, and we'll go in and we'll do what we call a, a, an invest and let uh, risk and reward report. Now this isn't a survey uh, and anybody buying any property I would highly recommend that you have a, a chartered surveyor or suitably qualified person doing a survey for you um, but this is purely us giving it a, a once over but perhaps just in a little bit more detail. So we'll, we'll, we'll look at the, the, the financials We'll give you an idea of what we think we can buy it for, uh, what we think it's going to let for, what we think the opportunities are for capital growth, uh, and, and what we think the opportunities are for, for rental growth over a period of time. And we'll give you that, uh, those projected figures uh, in, in a 25-year forecast. And we'll also detail uh, what we can see uh, in terms of works that may or may not need to be done, both to the exterior of the property and the interior of property, we work very closely with contractors uh, that we have on our books that are already uh, approved and are uh, approved our suppliers and work for us on a regular basis who'd be willing to give us an idea of what the costs are going to be associated with any works that may or may not need to be done. So it's a full report that gives you an idea really of exactly what you're going to get and how much it's going to cost you. So once we've put all that together, we're then in a very good position we know uh, we know we've got the finance all lined up, we've found the right property, uh, we've done the risk and reward report. Uh, it's time for us to really earn our money uh, and negotiate. Well, uh, I can tell you, uh, Robert, Ian and myself, there's nothing we like more than really getting our teeth stuck into a good deal. We will absolutely save any fees you pay us for this service as a result of our negotiation. Once we've done the deal, we've got it struck, uh, the Vendors, agents generally uh, will put together heads of terms uh, and we will then need to instruct solicitors. Um, within the Invest and Let service, uh, we have uh, contracted or we, we, we're working with Ashton Casey J, uh, particularly in Barnard, who I've worked with for a number of years now. Uh, he works within the business in their commercial team. Uh, He's pretty no-nonsense, get on with it. I love his style. We have a direct line straight through to him and I would absolutely recommend that we should be working with him, which is why we've built him into the cost of, the, in, into the cost of service, although it doesn't include the disbursements. And at that point, when we exchange contracts on the purchase, um, we'll be looking to get in there. Um, we will be looking to get in there, get the properties all dressed up and, uh, and on the market for letting. But within the service, uh, we will do our usual, as, as, as many of you will have experienced, in finding the right tenant for you, going through the rigorous vetting and referencing process that we do. Um, we'll get the tenants, uh, we'll ensure that you're entirely happy with those tenants, uh, take the necessary references, get the tenancy agreements drawn up, get those signed off. Uh, and move the uh, tenants in there along with uh, a, a full inventory of the, uh, uh, for the property. And that is as well all included within the proposition that we're offering you. So we've now got the, the, the tenant in place and that's the point at which that we'd like to then obviously discuss with you uh, about how you then want to proceed on with managing the property and we'd like to think that you'd, uh, you'd choose us to manage it for you. On, you know, on an ongoing basis to look after it in the way that it needs to be looked after. So just to, just to recap, 
we'd have the, the, the initial review meeting, find your property, uh, produce you the report, negotiate the purchase, manage the purchase from start to finish, and find you a tenant and put a whole inventory package together. I think you'll think that's quite a, a reasonable proposition. And for that, we're only going to charge a flat fee of £1,250. And that includes your solicitor's fee. Uh, we're seeking to fill in the application forms I talked earlier on. We need your commitment. We need to build that credibility. So we're looking for an initial £500 deposit up front. That will get us going, get the whole pro process up and running. And then we'll be looking to invoice the balance of 750 plus VAT on exchange of contracts to be paid on completion. So I hope that you think that, that all the bits and pieces that we've added in there are pretty good value for money. We think so. If what we've talked about tonight and the Invest and Let service is something that uh, you're interested in um, and you're keen to tap into our experience and expertise and you're looking to invest a bit more in the private sector, hopefully saving you time, hassle and a bit of money and really using our local knowledge and experience to reduce your risk. That is key. Um, please feel free to book in for a, a no obligation investment discovery meeting with either Robert or myself. Uh, I hope that you're going to take on board Invest and Let and it's something that, uh, that will be of great benefit to you. We've used Penningtons the whole time that we've uh, rented residential property and owned a residential property to rent. Um, they're well known to us locally, uh, we've known them for years and therefore I wouldn't look anywhere else.